hello everyone this is josh from dust city designs and we're working on the three dollar bear project a project where we are taking a little child's toy turning it into a 3d model blowing it up and turning it into a wireframe work of art we've already entered all of our pictures into one two 3d catch uh, uploaded them to the cloud and now we've finally gotten that file back and here's our bear we've turned on all the uh, cameras so you can kind of see where each picture was taken from we've got three levels going on we have the first level second level and then the top level um, you can see because we use adequate lighting it's really well lit up we've got a nice clean file um, no problems with it at all really so we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn off all these cameras and kind of get all this stuff out of our way because we need to clean up this file to get it ready to switch it over to 123 d make so first off we need to delete all this stuff around here um, if you just left click drag make a circle and hit the delete button it's just going to delete everything so for right now we're just going to try and get some of these big swatches done um, as we get a little bit closer we'll zoom in and get some of the more highly detailed stuff going uh, this really is a great program everything came together real easily uploaded um, you can only upload 70 pictures i think we uploaded about 66 on this one so worked out really well for us so as we get closer we're going to zoom in a little bit and kind of start working around his feet I like to kind of start off in wireframe, uh, just my personal preference. And as we get closer and get a little bit more detailed, I'll actually switch it back to the solid model. That way we can see exactly what we're deleting and make sure we don't delete too much. So I'll go ahead and delete that one. Yeah, and just working our way around the model, just kind of deleting everything. It's pretty easy to do. So if we make this program works really well and is really great for this type of stuff. Yep, so now we're getting to the point where we're starting to do some of the closer up detailed stuff. So we're going to switch it back to a solid model. This is actually a um, this is a, isn't actually a solid model. It's actually a um, um, skin model if you want to call it that. So it's actually hollow on the inside. At one point we'll actually flip this up and you actually look on the inside of it. But we're just going to try and go right around all of our little edges. Um, the bear that we bought actually had this little rock on the back um, to kind of keep it balanced. It also had the manufacturer's name and a few other little details and numbers on the bottom. We're going to leave it there for right now. We're going to come back here in a bit. We're going to delete all of that. Um, I don't really want it for our final model piece, but for right now, we're going to leave it on. Um, here, you definitely have to be a little bit careful as you're getting in here. If you do accidentally delete something, all you got to do is just hit the undo button and you're good to go get real close around these toes as well and same thing just using our little our clicking with the left button kind of dragging and making a little bit of a loop you got to be careful on some of this stuff uh, when you're right there on his foot you got to make sure you kind of bring it back around otherwise it's going to try and delete on the inside of that curve so Delete the rest off this back of his heel right here. And get some off the inside of this foot. Since the model we are making is going to be a little bit, um, it doesn't have to be super exact because we're actually going for a final wireframe model at the end of this. We don't have to get everything super exact on here. So we're going to delete this rock now. And once we actually export this as an OBJ um, and we put it into 123D Make, it actually goes through and it kind of heals a lot of this stuff. So we don't really need to um, close up the feed or anything like that. We really don't have to do any after editing because we did really good on the pictures. You can see up in the hands and everything, there's a few little files and pieces that are missing, but that's okay as it will kind of fill those in for us and it'll just kind of make them flat across there. So that's it. Our final model's cleaned up. We're going to go up here and go File. And we're going to export it as an OBJ file. So we're just going to go into our $3 bear file in here. Okay. Enter in the name you want to save it as. You'll have to remember that for our next step. Okay. And click Save and Save again. And that's how we create our model. Thanks for watching this video. The next video coming up, we're going to throw this model into 123D Make and create our wood frame for it. Thanks for watching. Bye.